Hello, twin flames. I was supposed to be doing a Gemini reading, but because it's one, 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 spirit says to start with you people. You lovely guys. How are you guys? I'm Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. You see my big old head, you're watching my channel. Hi, guys. I'm doing a love read for twin flames. So this is for divine masculine and divine feminine. It is for separation, not union. So if you're in union, this is not for you. This is for separation. They say twins and separation. I'll do divine feminine and then I'll do divine masculine after this. All right, he saves the cards. I'm using um a different deck today. So let's see what messages we get. <clears throat> um, I was getting um preservation and salvation this morning. Um, and I keep hearing it now. So this journey is coming down to salvation and preservation. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this is my um soulmate deck. So I'm going to use this deck, and then I'm going to use my um, my rider deck, but it's the rider witch deck. It's this deck. Okay. I use this cards for confirmation. So I pull five cards from this one, and then I'll do two cards for each card for confirmation. Okay, let's go. Spirit guides, Mike Archangel, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Four Corners, Higher Power Source, Ethers, Ancestors, and my own angels. Please give me messages for Twin Flame Separation. For the divine that watched me and for the divine that will watch me for cross watchers. They said, take it. So funny. I just watched a whole nother um, YouTuber and this is the first car she pulled honeymoon. Enjoy the uh, bliss holidays time together. I'm going to pull all of them and then I'm, I'm going to rewrap it. Spirit, give me four more cards for twin flames and separation. Oh, flew over there. Oh my God. This is the second card she pulled. They should be trying to be funny. Playful. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit to be fun and shine. Okay. Three more cards. Twin flame and separation. Three more cards, spirit. Ooh, ooh, my cards. Hold on. You got true love at the bottom of the deck. It says, this is a romance of a lifetime. That's your third card. And give me two more cards. I'm going to mix them up. Spirit said, mix them up. Two more cards, Spirit. And then we'll get confirmation. That one is sideways. Okay, so you got... You got religious factors. Your love life is influenced... By religious factors, upbringing, and spiritual past. And this this just basically means you guys are on two different wavelengths as far as religion or spiritual, how you guys are thinking. But I feel like there's the twins are actually um, about to mirror each other. So you got patience. You got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got chemistry. Um, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So now let's see why honeymoon is here. It says, enjoy the bliss holiday time together. Spirit, give me two cards. Why honeymoon is here for twin flames and separation. Um, I just seen the moon, so whatever's being deceived will be brought to light. Because there's something you don't know still for some of you, or you just found out something. Two cards for honeymoon. Ooh. Four pentacles. Ace of Wands, he, 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 page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The Four of Pentacles is upright. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is either you or your twin, so you take it masculine or feminine. This is holding on to possessions and people because of greed. Things are ruled by money with the Four of Pentacles. Whoever your twin is dealing with offers them structure and stability is why the Four of Pentacles is here. And I feel like some of them are more serious with the twin. You got honeymoon because someone could be getting married or someone could be engaged. And then you got the Ace of Wands. And this is them trying to have a fresh start with the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. Okay, so some of your twins could be... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the Page of Pentacles is... um. 
There's something going on with money with your twin. Whoever they're dealing with, this is something definitely dealing with money because you got two pentacle cards. And I feel like they're, the page of pentacles, is, they don't have a lot of money. But whoever they're dealing with, they do. Um, hold on. I want more cards for the honeymoon card. I need a little more information, spirit. Twin flames. Give me two more cards for honeymoon. Two more cards, spirit. Fuck. I was going to say fuck me, but I didn't mean it like that. But okay, look. You got the devil in reverse and you got judgment in reverse. The devil is definitely... um. This is Capricorn Cancer energy. So that could be their sign. The cancer is making me think things with water. There's things that aren't revealed that you still need to see. And then I feel like with the devil in reverse, this is an attachment. So the devil is, um, I said Capricorn Cancer, can, can, you know, the judgment is Scorpio energy. So you got cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio energy. You got cancer energy twice. So that's definitely for both cards. And since judgment is in reverse, this is a, a false accusation. Your twin is about to learn a karmic lesson something they were unwilling to learn you know like they just didn't get it it's about to be slapped in their face there's some bad gossip that's going around and i believe there's some self-doubt about this connection that they're feeling with someone else there's some indecisiveness going on too with judgment so um looks can be deceiving and like i said with the uh the devil here there's an uh someone someone's trying to the attack disattach themselves from the situation I feel like they're trying to overcome an addiction. I don't know if they're necessarily addicted to the karmic, but there's something that the karmic and them do together that they're addicted to. And I think that's what uh, this is about. You got the hangman at the bottom of the tank. Yeah, you guys, they're trying to, um, they're bored with this person. And I feel like they have negative patterns with the hangman in reverse. I feel like they're stuck. And there's a disinterest in the situation. So it's just like they're just doing it for comfort. But this is discontentment, even though they're comfortable with the discontentment, which is fucking retarded, right? So there's an also the disattachment to the situation. I feel like they're trying to, yeah, and I already said the moon was here. The moon came out right behind it with the emperor. So now we know who has the secret. With 717 being twin flame numbers, your emperor has a secret with the moon in reverse, okay? Because this is the emperor that will be revealed. Um, They're trying to keep up um, in a facade. I feel like they're trying to... Uh, be a good father, a good dad, a good protector. But there's something that they're masking with the moon here. And that's cancer energy too. Somebody got cancer in their birth chart. This is um, unveiling a secret. So there's something that's going to be unveiled with the moon here. And there's something that your masculine was deceiving themselves about. That they're about to learn the hard way. I'm hearing, Brandy, it's a shame you have to learn the hard way. That song was old as hell. I think that's like 1999. Shit, I was graduating from high school. Remember she had them braids and stuff, them box braids, and she was driving. And yeah, it's a shame that they just had to learn the hard way. I'm still seeing the devil and the emperor on my wall next to each other. Yep. Oh, and guess what I just seen? I seen the empress, right? And she is all temperance. That's us. We balancing out, you know. Um, we don't, and I feel like the emperor wants us to share our thoughts and how we feel you know, with the temptation card. This is trying to seek balance. Yep, and growth. But yeah. You got playfulness, uh, recapturing romance, allow your inner youth and spirit to sing and have fun. So, why is that here for twins? The Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords in reverse. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Knight of Swords in reverse is somewhat out of control and a know-it-all. This is a person that um, played a lot of games with the Knight of Swords, and I feel like, you know, it's that Beyonce and Jay-Z song when she said, don't hurt yourself. I feel like whoever this is hurt themselves trying to hurt you. They play the game with playfulness. You got the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like for one of you guys, there's something going on with money that's coming in. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. Spirit said no. Flip the card, try to flip. Yeah, whoever this is. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, so your twin is stuck in a situation because the cards all flew out. Cherry in reverse. Temptress in reverse. So you got double Sagittarius energy with that. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. The chariot is also cancer energy. So this is the person stuck in an in a unbalanced situation. And because they stuck in an unbalanced situation, um, everything's unbalanced. They're overindulging in something with somebody. They've been playing a lot of games. And whatever it is, it has something to do with financial stability, as I always keep saying with the Ace of Pentacles. There's some type of dangerous game someone's playing with someone. 
Then you got true love. Why is true love here? Fear, why is true love here for Twin Flames? Yeah, so whoever this is, either you or whoever watching this, either you've been playing games or you're divine feminine, but I'm going to tell you, it's the masculine, baby. The 10, 11 on the clock. It's the masculine. Playing games. Playing fucking games. Why is true love here? Romance of a lifetime. Twin flame. Spirit said keep pulling. Just keep pulling and I'm pulling. Alright. This is so damn simple. Alright, look. So, the death card here, right? This is like, <laughs> this true love, right? So, this is with 1040 on the clock, which equals a 5. You're coming out of um, chaos, crisis, conflict, instabilities with the masculine. This is um, him realizing that you are his true love for some of you. And you got Cupid in the background. So it says this is a romance of a lifetime. And because it is a romance of a lifetime, you got the death card in reverse. And then you got the six of swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The death card in the reverse is Scorpio energy. Um, so this is a lot of emotions. And this is dealing with clarity. The Six of Swords is definitely healing and escaping to calmer waters. There's someone that's going to have to escape to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. Okay? This is a stormy relationship someone felt trapped in. You know? Um, and it was like a lot of trouble. And it's still trouble coming with this situation. I feel like they're realizing that you are their true love. And death in reverse is a fear of a new beginning. And repeating a, neg re repeating a negative pattern and resistance to change. Being very dependent on a situation. I feel like that's what the masculine has going on. But with that still being said, you got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that is emotionally immature and don't know how to express themselves. And they're coming in as a knight instead of a king or a queen. So it means they're not they're not mature yet. There's um, some of you could have slept with them lately, lately, which could have been like a one night stand. But there's some type of cheating or deception with unrequited love here. And I feel like because of that, this person sees you as the um, the page of, with the page of swords is coming in with the high priestess. This is definitely going to come in with text messages, phone calls. This is a person that's watching you become the high priestess, uh, divine feminine, like you're becoming successful. I feel like you're a mystery to this masculine because you're not playing the fucking games anymore. So in my eyes, I feel like my intuition is telling me because you have um, decided to move forward and just basically, um, okay, so I'm getting like nesting, so like cooking, cleaning, um, more so focused on self-care and not so much focus on the situation. You got the page of swords, which means there's a message coming in from someone. With the moon in reverse, I just realized that the moon was here for the Knight of Cups. So like I said, there's someone that's been deceiving you. Of course, it's the, the, the masculine. And they got to come in and they got to have some conversations with you about all this shit. About this six of swords. They had this stormy relationship. They felt trapped in. And with that, this is, like I said, this is uh, fear of a new beginning, feeling stuck. Stuck in the situation. Religious factors. It says your love life is um, influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And I already said that you guys are not on the same path. So let's see why that's here. I feel like the divine feminine is moving faster than the divine masculine. As far as spiritual paths. Two of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> juggling. So someone's been juggling. I feel like with the um, Two of Pentacles. Let me put some apart. Blue, 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 blue. Same damn thing. All right, so oh this is such a fairy tale story, you know that? Such a notebook story. Okay, look. So you guys don't see eye to eye with religion. Someone doesn't want to be in the spirituality, and someone does. Of course, the divine feminine wants to be in spirituality, but the divine masculine wants to, you know, run them up a little bit and want to kind of just do what the fuck they want to do and not surrender to the divine, which you know you later pay for it because you don't listen. But however, with the two of pentacles here in reverse. And then you got the Six of Cups here. The Two of Pentacles is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. The Six of Cups is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Since the Six of Cups is upright, this is someone very childish you're dealing with, okay? They're not mature, okay? And because they're not, they're not seeking spirituality because they want to still do what they want to do. The Two of Pentacles is lack of balance for the divine masculine, poor money decisions, money loss, okay? Um, things being a fucking mess. And then you got... There's some deception that 
the divine masculine has with the seven of swords here. And this is them coming clean about being a coward or either getting caught up or cheating, okay? The seven of swords is something that they are masking. The seven of swords is uh, mental manipulation, basically, okay? So the devil's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And then you got the eight of wands, which is definitely coming in, about to communicate about this four of wands. Four of wands in reverse is a karmic relationship. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, some shit that burns out really fast. It starts fast, it ends fast, and they're coming in to talk about this. So you really got... You got wands twice. So this is going to happen fast. I feel like you're not going to see it coming with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy because you got wands twice. So it's something that's going to, they're going to think about it and then they're just going to move on the shit. And the last card you guys, oh wait, and then you got five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The five of pentacles to me, um, in this read is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And this is, um, a breakup, a divorce. Okay. That's why I just said, uh, some type of, uh, Someone could be homeless behind this. There's hardships I'm feeling. I'm feeling like an outcast. Bad luck. Um, yep, and you got the Ten of Swords. I'm just going to keep pulling. Yeah, shit. So the Ten of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And the Seven of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Seven of Swords is rising above problems and pulling themselves together. I feel like that's what the masculine is going to have to do because the Seven of Cups is in reverse. So this is an emotional upheaval. This is a reality check about a poor fucking decision made. And it's like, oh shit, I'm trapped in this situation. Then you got the devil car here. And they was only trapped in this situation because of money. The Ten of Pentacles. You got um, the devil's energy again. It's Cancer Capricorn energy. And the devil upright is an addiction to money. Addiction to drugs. Addiction to a person. Addiction to cheating. Addiction to slut porn. This person just been out there. Like, you know, laying it low, spreading it wide. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. They just been living la vida loca. And it's catching up with the divine masculine. You got passion and chemistry. So I'm going to pull it for both of those. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then you have, um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Why is that here for Twin Flame? Strong magnetic attraction and passion. Why is that here for Twin Flames? I'm seeing Gemini and Cancer energy too. Yeah. Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. The Two of Swords is a truce, a difficult decision. Someone's storm, uh, torn between two relationships. So, we know that is the Divine Masculine. Divided loyalty. Not sure, you know, like, they're trying to be loyal to both parties. You can't do that. So, they feel caught in the middle. And you ain't got to be caught in the middle. You know, what Nikki say, pick a side. Pick a fucking side. Pick one. Stay that way. Go that way. Yeah, because the Queen of Cups is here, and, you know, I, I'm a divine feminist, so I'm speaking for myself. Don't have my fucking emotions upside down. This is what the Queen of Pentacles is saying. She's like, I don't want to be bothered, okay? Like, I'm trying to get myself all the way together, because they already been giving too much. The divine feminine been giving too much, and I feel like the manipulation card is here with the Queen of Cups, feeling like um, emotional manipulation on a, yeah. And then I just looked at the um, Nine of Swords. If you look at the card, the Divine Feminine felt like the devil just been whipping her ass. If you look at it, it's a broom, and he just, like, whacking her ass with it, you see? And she like, what the fuck is happening? But this is in reverse. So, this is the Nine of Swords in reverse, and it's the same energy. It's just um, trying to recover, open up, learning to cope. So, I feel like the Divine Feminine is coping with whatever the Divine Masculine has pulled. This is a breakdown and giving up on the situation. With the emotions, Queen of Cups is like, oh, I'm finna take my shit back. I ain't finna be bothered. I'm gonna get 18 minutes. Goodness, y'all reads me so long. Let me get three more cards before I end this one. Ooh, it flew out. Hello. What is this? The hangman is sideways. So you know what that means. <clears throat> Some bipolar shit going on. This is self-limitations, uncertainty, and lack of fucking direction, and feeling confined. Okay? Then it's detachment. Someone wants to disattach themselves. So this could be the divine masculine feeling confined, and uncertainty is a lack of direction is what I'm feeling. The uh, disattached and disinterested and discontentment and feeling stuck in a negative pattern is both parties near each other. <coughs> okay, let me stop talking. Hold on one minute. <clears throat> the fool in reverse. I like that. <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking at the last minute. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so... I don't know. Well, of course, I feel like the Divine Feminine with the Six of Wands here. This is your energy. This is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. This is being victorious, being praised, 
reaching your goals, I feel like you guys are just very focused on winning. And that's why the Six of Wands said this is like, it don't matter what's being thrown your way. Yeah, because she out here basically naked, okay? She got her candle, and this is her like, I, I'm, I'm down to my last, but I'm going to press forward is the energy I'm getting with the Six of Wands. <coughs> and then you got the uh, Fool in Reverse. This is Aries Taurus energy. Now, this is someone being reckless and careless. and I feel like somebody feels stupid, lack of hope and faith in something. <coughs> so somebody get a dumb decision. The fool has the goat energy. That is the devil's energy. I feel like someone was influenced by the devil to do something stupid. And they regret it. The will of fortune is being blessed with the four wands. This is definitely devil twin flame energy. So I feel like someone did something stupid and it's going to be displeasing to one of the twins. Take it as it resonates. And then I say it like the four of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The will of fortune is Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. The will of fortune is good luck. It is blessings. This is something you get money coming in. This is something you get love coming in. This is something you get both coming in. But this is just like success, successful in anything. Destiny. You know, this is like a change, a karmic upheaval of good change with the will of fortune. And then you got the four of wands. This is about structure and stability. Okay, so, and the four of wands is always um, twin flames because you got one, 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 one. So it's four of wands. Time to start the reading, right? So this is someone coming together in union with the four of wands here. Because this is um, being seen as, yeah, the six of pentacles is here. Oh yeah, this is definitely union. You got the three of pentacles. This is wanting to come together and, and be, they like want to create be financially abundant with your twin. Basically make plans for the future as far as where you're going to live. You know, how many kids you're going to have. What are you, you going to do as far as career? Because whatever you guys are doing is going to be connected. And then I feel like with the Six of Wands is um, Divine Feminine. This is you already showing up, like I said, popular, victorious in whatever you're doing. Because I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's like you're trying to decide. Um, you're at a crossroads and you're trying to decide what to do. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? You're reviewing and evaluating the situation. So basically, see, this shit is even worth your time, okay? Because you're like, uh, this shit seemed like a nightmare <laughs> to a cups. And I feel like they did something that has you like, I want to disconnect. I don't want to be bothered. Two of cups is something emotional. This is like arguments, disputes, not seeing eye to eye. Someone going into hermit mode and not seeing a damn word. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to keep it to myself until I decide to talk. And right now, it's just not the time. I feel like someone is in... Uh, Isolation because they're doing some self-evaluating and trying to review, you know, and it's like a spiritual enlightenment, a soul searching behind the situation. Because a, a, a twin journey, a, a twin flame journey will have you soul searching because you will be fucking crazy. That's how you feel. So I know, you know. Um, and then you got the seven of wands in reverse, <clears throat> and I feel like someone's very vulnerable. So I feel like with the seven of wands, it's like admitting defeat, divine feminine, and quitting. You know, um, I feel like you're burned out. And it's no more compromising you with the seven of wands. <clears throat> so you're in hermit mode about the situation. You refuse to be um, in a situation where you don't feel like you're balanced. And I feel like the divine masculine is, is going to bring the storm if they were to come now. So we'll see where this goes. I'll do a read for you guys in like two or three days. So I'm on to divine feminine and I'm going to do masculine. Um, Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me, guys. I am Phoenix Rising to get a personal read or to cash out your donation. It is in the description box or on my page. Um, and I'll see you guys next next time. I'm going to go on to Divine Feminine. If you guys want to watch that, that's coming up next. So give me like 20 minutes and I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.